uh, one more, one more caution, we'll, uh, we won't make it. It's got to finish this time. Like everybody else, very close. Well, two laps to settle it. If we don't see the yellow flag in the first of those two laps. 29 cars on the lead lap. Clint Boyer, Matt Kinsey bring the field to the restart. NASCAR will check the video to see who was out in front at the moment of caution. They have just called confirmation that Matt Kenseth is the winner of this race. So many cars involved in the accident. Tony Stewart's car up on its side. Jimmy Johnson's car all torn up. It's going to take a bit to sort out the actual finish of this one as Stewart climbs from his car. And that's great to see. Bobby Labonte. And the scene. Jr. just refired from the accident scene and came to the finish line. He's picking up Jimmy Johnson, who just climbed from his destroyed race car. Yeah, Jr. just trying to complete the last lap. He came off pit road, crossed the line, and he saw Jimmy standing there. If that left rear tire doesn't come apart, yeah. not going to be good on Jimmy. Well, he'd be the first to know. But yeah, I know. What a turn of events. First, show you who was in the lead at the moment the caution came out. There's Stewart with Matt Kenseth. And you see clearly Kenseth out in front as the caution light turns to yellow. Yeah, it looks like the first three might be Kenseth, Gordon, and Kyle Bush from that point. Yeah, but it was a uh, well, everybody's guess from that point. 
it all started. Michael Walker had a huge run down on the bottom, getting pushed by Casey Mears. That definitely was the first contact you saw was Michael Walker hit to Tony Stewart, but he was getting a big, big push and nowhere to take it. Well, here it is. Waltrip in the 55, Mears in the 13, Stewart in the 14. You can see Tony just a little bit late in making that move to get back down. Harvick and Kenseth on the outside had a run, so they were literally going to go by him on both sides. Watch the two. The championship leader somehow avoided getting really torn up in that. So he looked like Martin Truex was going to get through there. Bobby Labonte caught him right at the end. They waited all day to do it, but it was big when it happened. Yes, sir. See Michael Walter just barely catching the left rear quarter panel of Kevin Harvick. Get him involved. Stewart's car upside down. On top of Casey Kane's number five. They're coming to the checkered flag. Yeah, and you know as a driver, Tony Stewart's leading this race. He's got no help. He tries to make a, a, a move that's going to get him some push and help. And you know as a driver, if you make that move, there's a chance that somebody's not going to lift on the last lap, and this is a situation that could happen. It's a product of this type of racing, and every driver knew that's the situation that you could find yourself in. Flint Boyer's seat. Dig hard. Coming to the checker. Dig hard. Dig hard. Dig hard. Dig hard. Four wide. You're on the bottom. Come. Get it right if you can get it. Get it right if you can get it. Get to the checker. If you get it started, get it started. I see you. Casey Kane. About to have an unexpected passenger. <laughs> At least 20 cars involved in that accident coming to the checkered flag unofficial standings because it's going to take him a while to go back and review this video.